Here tonight, we've been telling you about how Connecticut is dealing with that drought. Now, the state says we need to do something about it. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. The Connecticut Office of Policy and Management is asking everyone to limit their water use. News 8's Renee Shmiel live for us in News 8 Control to tell us how they want us to save that water. Renee? Darren and residents and businesses are asked to voluntarily reduce their water use by 10% and to avoid unnecessary water usage. But many people we spoke with say they're already doing that. Limiting water use, even during a drought, isn't always easy. Some businesses, like car washes, have to use a lot of water. But car wash employees say people who want to get their cars sparkling clean will actually save water by taking them to a car wash. They'll use 15 or 20 gallons at home. They'll use three to four gallons at a car wash. So really, it is a huge savings. Sponge Brothers Car Wash in Orange has a water reclaim system, which also helps save water. It's something employees use all the time, whether we're in a drought or not. They've noticed that when the weather is dry, they often have more cars to wash. It may help business for those people that are sensitive to say, hey, I don't want to wash at home. I'll go to a professional car wash, use less water. Meanwhile, homeowners are asked to save water too, whether they use a public water supplier or a well. Some parents of kids who play sports have ways of using less tap water while also making getting ready for games a little bit easier. I don't really do the faucet water. I pretty much buy cases and cases of bottles of water. Other people have cut back on some of the chores that use water. Generally, I water my garden a couple of times, twice a week. I've been down doing that once a week to save some water. For some, that means fewer car washes. But car wash employees say they're aware of how much water they're using, and they're already using as little of it as they can. We can't harm people's cars to cut it back down, but we are just using minimal amount of water every single day. Several water companies have asked or required their customers to conserve water, and despite the drought, water levels in most of the state's larger reservoirs and water systems are stable. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Renee Schmiel. Darren, back to you.